What's up guys, welcome to the channel where we do whatever I feel like reading up about for that night. Uh, today I've been playing around with the software, pretty expensive software called PVSol, um, that allows you to run simulations on solar power on your home. I mean, this thing is tracking w what country I'm in, well, uh, where in South Africa I'm in in and the type of sun i'm getting you can see the shadows being cast there whether that affects the panels things like that uh seasonality uh it's all fun in games i mean it's been quite interesting playing with it but i've come to the realization that it's not very helpful for the average person like you and i so i've put together the spreadsheet to figure out whether solar power is worth it for us so the first thing I did was calculate how much ESCOM would be charging us. So I made the assumption that the average person uses around 9,000 kilowatt hours a year. Uh, I think that's a fair assumption. And then I tried to get the cost that ESCOM charges us per kilowatt hour. Um, that was a bit tricky, so I made a bit of an assumption there because the prices vary from municipality um and things like that so yeah i made the assumption of two rand per kilowatt hour that results in eighteen thousand a year and um forgetting about inflation and other volatility that comes to one hundred eighty thousand over the next 10 years um and then using that assumption of nine thousand kilowatt hours a year uh, I figured that we'd need a, fi a 4.5 kilowatt hour system. Um, once that was decided, I could calculate the cost of the system uh, to buy and install. So panels, I worked out that we'd need 15 panels. Uh, you know, to get uh, if if we have 300 watt uh, panels to get to that 4.5 kilowatt system, uh, and then a simple Google search. Uh, the first website I got to seemed quite credible uh took me it uh, say they say that they it cost around 2000 that does seem to be the going price for 300 watt panels uh sh yes it does make a difference what efficiency and level you get but i mean for the purposes of brevity we'll say 2000 rand per uh, 300 watt panel and then yeah mounting and cost of buying those would be 30000 and then we're assuming that we want to go completely off the grid. So a pure sine wave in inverter that goes for around five to 10,000. Uh, batteries, lithium ion batteries have been getting cheaper lately. So hopefully we'll see that price coming down soon, but it's around 30,000. Um, and we need the batteries to, you know, store the energy for when the sun's not really providing energy. And a controller. Some inverters do come with controllers, but I've just added the cost in there to get it to a nice round figure of 70,000. Um, and that is less than half of what you'd pay over the next 10 years by staying on the grid. Um, so yes, there were a lot of assumptions implicit and explicitly made, but it definitely seems to be something worth checking out. 